<laughs> okay, so today we are gonna review um, S4 objects. I'm bad at introducing YouTube content, so sorry about that. Uh, <clears throat> and S4 uh, is the an implementation of object-oriented programming in R, one probably of the oldest, and the one that I learned reading this book, Bioconductors, Bioconductors is in, and uh, and others are invented. I do not know Bioconductors, so I was searching like, hey, what kind of package should I, I look into? Uh, so we can like discuss the content of the book and see how it was implemented by so by let's call it, I think it's a Pedsma Ped count as a professional or programmers uh, by a professional and what's, what's what we can learn from it. So this package uh, is not working anymore. Uh, I mean, it's not working. It's it's supposed to be deprecated, but I still think there is a lot of stuff to learn about it. So let me copy past it into the chat. Uh, so everyone has have it. Um, and as you see, it's class and method for spatial data. So and in the about, we already know what we are going to talk about it. Um, so let's jump into the slide of the book. Is everyone fine with this 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 schedule? Uh, I'm not like the book. The book uses Lubridate a lot as an example. I'm not that uh, good with Lubridate. So, uh, but uh, if you check like the- But it's one of the best packages out there and it has an amazing name. I agree. <laughs> but uh, it's a web, I, I think it's uh, a bit way more complicated implementation when I look at it. Not, not saying like it's bad, but it's it could be more, uh, more complicated. Uh, did I jump here? So there's like, I didn't provide my notes, uh, which I sh should wait feel bad about it, but I took my notes as my notepad as well. So I'm gonna jump in it, in it. And I think like it will be nearly the same that we have seen like with S3 LRR6, I can pronounce that correctly. So we'll review like all this uh, S4, um, I will say, I should start by that. You need to have the method package loaded, by the way. So it's not into the base R package, but when you have R loaded, usually you have the method package attached, I think. If I try that, uh, all right. Yeah. And if I do session info, what do I have? Uh, I have method attached. But the, if you are like this, uh, if you are like maybe loading just base R, you maybe and it's uh, a good uh, a good tip like maybe to to load library method or be sure like you are loading it in non interactive session depending on how you are like uh, setting up your non interactive workflow. Anyway, uh, that's it. Um, so and the. the I will say like the structure of the chapter is fairly similar to the previous chapters. That's why I feel like you will be bored a bit. So we're gonna review how you define class. Then we're gonna review like how we set up generic and then because the generic method, you're gonna dispatch them to, uh, to specific method, how we do all of that. But it's basically the same. First class, then, um, <clears throat> then generic, then methods. And there is something like way more complicated than the R6 object. It's like you can have multiple dispatch. So uh, if you remember on the S3, let's say like you are using the package data tables and you have a class of object that's named data table. And then the object also have data frame because like uh, one is an kind of inherit the others. I, I'm afraid to use that because I'm not sure like it's the correct terminology, but they are they are, they are related. <clears throat> and so like, if you have a generic, if you have a method, let's say summary or print that specify for data table object, it's gonna use the data table object. And then if it does not find the method say print data tables for this data table object, it's gonna go back to the data frame object. And S4 is, a, is using something similar in a more complicated way. Okay, it was a long introduction. Uh, let's move that. 
So you have some new vocabularies that's uh so the various uh parts of a class uh in uh, of a class uh in S4 is called slots. And it's exactly the same. I mean, it's very similar than the same that's filled in R6, but it's called slots. And usually you have specific method to access slots. Uh, we can go jump into here. If I search, like, let's do a really uh, basic as that. See, uh, oh yeah, we found like uh, a bunch of deprecated stuff. That's funny. Uh, <coughs> Yeah, we have an, uh, an implementation using it. So the slot, the object, and something. We're gonna we're gonna go a bit more. Uh, we're gonna see that more uh, precisely when you are gonna see how the class are uh, initiated. But I, I I really recommend going ra randomly on GitHub, for example, in the Air Open Science Community GitHub, and search for the package and how do they implement uh, some stuff. Because like it's it's a learning opportunity, and I agree. Like here we are in a package, so it's a bit more complicated than a bunch of scripts. I mean, it had another layer of complexity, but I think it's worth it to to understand like the overall programming, just not the code. Okay. Uh, exact, and then you have method that dispatch uh, that generates that dispatch to method. I already said that. Uh, to set class, you have a specific function that set class. And the same, we're going to review them. So no, no need to spend too much time. I do not like the overview on that, uh, on the notes. I think it's better if you go straight into um, the prototype. <laughs> Where is it? Here. So at first, uh, I'd let show like, oh, you can create a class person. Uh, that's like uh, going to take a name and age, but it did not include the prototype. So set class is a function that should start by that that's take multiple arguments. Apparently there is a bunch, but Adler said like you should only use few of them. And uh, the, this argument said they are either dep deprecated or too complicated for you. So the first one is the name of the class. By the way, it's used upper camel case. Uh, and I think this is like, it may be soon, I mean, the convention is you should upper camel case. But you should keep in mind, and this is, I think it is useful because when you are searching a package, for example, in GitHub here, I know like one of these classes is special. And having the upper camel case, knowing it's a upper camel case, I do not feel like this and search instead for like special or whatever. It's help you like identify what is a function or what is, oh, well, GitHub is smart enough here. But it's help you identify what is the class, what is the function, et cetera, et cetera. Because like all of this object can be inside of the package. So uh, I'm happy like everyone follow this convention and that help us like processing more information faster. So first is the when you say class, you define what's the class name. This is the first argument. Then this is the slot. Here, this is a fairly simple argument, like you are passing. Uh, the name, which is characters, the edge, which is numeric. By the way, I played it a bit uh, with it, and you can do pretty dangerous stuff. Like you can you can pass infinite, and uh, so anyway, <laughs> be mindful. Like in some, obviously on edge, I'm not too much afraid, but uh, I, I just definitely like weird numeric. You can pass sometimes. I mean, by word, infinite is a word numeric. I don't know if infinite is numbers. I'm asking the math teachers uh, here, but like, <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, and then this is this is what he adver advertised. And you have another prototype fill, uh, fill that you should fill that will help you like fill like if you don't uh, specify stuff. So unlike like here, I agree like this is just like all the chapters goes, but you should just, uh, if I was me, I will I will just put prototype here already. So people do not like read the first part and forget the prototype pass. The set generic function are, are pretty general also. Uh, but I think now we should search for like this special method. 
uh, which is not this one uh, because I searched a little bit. So uh, maybe I should instead. So here we are in the package and you can search on GitHub here, which is just search into this package and this branch by default. You can specify uh, other stuff and other um, other ID, direct sync, class infinite is numeric. So yes, that's it. <laughs> it's correct. Uh, and then um, this is like, and our package is really, we'll have like a narrow repository where all the function class definition is de is defined. Um, and if you go here, you see class partial R, which define like, which is exactly what we have seen. So it has a set class. It defined the name of the class, which is special. And then um, this defined the slot. A, a, an object special, as we will see, like it's it's going to be inherited. I don't know it's the correct term. Or for example, if we have like something simple point, we're going to see it contain special. We're going to see that that's the notion of inheritance that we previously have seen. So you can, in S4, exactly, you can have an, uh, a class that's inherits the other one. So special is, I will call it the top level class that just have two characteristic, a bounding box, which is a matrix. It's basically like you can describe a bunch of objects in 2D space by their minimum in X, minimum in Y, maximum in X, and maximum in Y. So it's the term, like it's bounding the object you are trying to describe. And prosh for string is a stuff from the past where we use it to describe a, a coordinate reference system with a string. Um, not anymore. Prosh for string example. Does Google will find me something? Yeah, something like that. So here we have a projection, which is a tra transverse mercators that start with longitude zeros. Uh, the, the, the origin point is something. Well, I learned to read that, but no, you don't need anymore because we don't use that. Uh, so uh, a special object to be represented in space need yes. to have that. Can I ask yes. a quick question? Um, sorry, it's unrelated to the topic, but just related to what you said. We don't use the proj for string anymore. It, it, you said we we do we use like the CRS instead, or is there something else? Oh, uh, the CRS is a coordinate reference system, and the proj string is one of way of describing a coordinate reference system. Currently, we use a, what we call a well-known text to implementation of the coordinate reference system, which a special reference, a special. Uh, there's a super good website. Uh, I will go with a bad one because I found it, but like there's a better one. So let's say <laughs> that. So this For one is the bad one. Yeah. Yeah. And then here you have like right. yeah currently you're supposed to use that one the open open uh consortium something well no text version of it and it's basically on code the same information but more yes okay that, okay I, i've seen both and i kind of always thought they were roughly the same thing i didn't really understand not exactly so. not um, exactly okay, thank you but and like you have you have account. normally you can convert one this is a proj for things uh this is the version of proj for string uh, into the proj for JavaScript library. Right. Yeah. Do right. not like this is, I think, yeah, this is the proj for string original version. I tend to use just CR, established CRS codes. Um, yes. And no, if you <laughs> use simple. SF and CRS code, it should, it should, it should use that one. Yeah. All that one. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Well, we can, this is, a, this is, yeah. Uh, I'm apolog I, like uh, I will book. apologize. <laughs> Uh, from all the non geo people, but uh, about all the mass geo people I've made. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Sorry for, for all about that. This is our mess. Um, anyway. And then at the different that Adley, because Adley is advocating you should use um, here, what is it? Validators. Uh, that's is used by the use as a set validity function. Here, the author of the SP package use an argument that Adler does not recommend, which name validity. And I have no idea of the pros and cons. It's just like, uh, I'm just describing it. <laughs> but like, obviously, if you do not understand what's a matrix, a uh, bonding bug matrices, it's just testing a bunch of stuff and return like, hey, you 
please provide me a, a matrix that should have like four points inside of it. This is not enough, or et cetera, et cetera. So it does exactly the same of the set validity that's advertised advertise here, but it does inside of the class definition. And I have no idea of the pros and cons. I'm just describing realities. Uh, I think having the set validity outside make it a bit better to uh, maintain it, no? That's my uh, first guess. I don't know if you have guess around that. It also seems a little bit just um, uh, just structurally nicer or more organized in your code to have different pieces kind of separated a little bit. So I, I thought it just was a bit. Yeah, I agree. Also, then you can use that set validity elsewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a it's a good point. Like maybe you can use it like to test other, against other function. It also means that you can use it in tests and maybe, or presumably you can use it in, in package tests, which might be like just a nice from my... Um... You know what? That's a good question. So here we have tests. Let's see. <laughs> uh, oh, that's the other... So this is the old way where tests were right before uh, test that. So oh yeah. Oh man, that's before my time. <laughs> that's that's also like not before that's close before my time. So be, before that, you basically like so you are running like the R version of it. Let's mm -hmm. produce an output. And you are comparing the output you get, all of that, to the output, like something that generate here. And I think test that by the under the hood is still doing that, but you do not need to to do this awful string matching or whatever so you call it. There's also another, um, I think, example package would be LME4. I'm pretty sure they use slots. And they also have test that tests. Yeah. Do you want me to go into like the... But I'm not sure. Or they have... I don't know what they have. I think they have both, actually. That's interesting. Actually, they have both in there. That's, okay. So let's send LME or... LME4. LME four. Four. No, we are on the four version. Or... Uh, uh, if you go to the second one there. So the second, this, uh, well, it's got the URL. I found it with the issue, sure. Up here, test. And uh, the this one? Are you sure we want to look at what the OS3 R is? I'm, no, but they have a test that. Oh, test that, yes. And let, let's see, like, if I have this set validity, some uh, set validity. Let's first form the set validity. It should... It should follow like my set valley d valley d, d. Well, probably felt that. Yes, let me copy paste it. Um, I searched for validity and it didn't actually come up. So, so I don't that, know. You know, this, this is why, like, how does this look? What other people do is my recommendation. <laughs> Usually, they are smarter than what I do. But sometimes it's not necessarily the case. <laughs> okay, so we we don't know, and I, and I searched for it inside of also like the SP package. I was gonna say you can search in GitHub. You can search for set validity and then set the language to R. How do you do that? Um, so in the top there, instead of get rid of the repo part, leave your set validity. Just get rid of the repo part. Yeah. And now at the uh, now you add language colon capital R. Uh, yeah, but I will search all GitHub for that language. Yeah, but then you'll find it. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, oh, so I'll wanna... <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's too much. That's gonna bring us too far. Let's go. Like I just want to find <laughs> that that. Let's go back to a simple implementation. We open the Pandora box, I feel, if you do that. If you search on not GitHub. Like, let's let's pick someone that's paid to be programming someone. But that's, I agree with Derek, that's an incredible search tool. It's what I use sometimes when I'm really struggling to understand how something works. I just, I'm like, I'm just going to, like you said, blast Google and then get all the, or not Google, GitHub, and get all the yeah. different examples. Um, and usually I'll find something that makes sense. Um, but it's uh, it's usually when I'm getting frustrated. Yeah. So what's what's its advert advertise also like is so you can access the slot by the at, um, and you can uh, and I can show you some example into the R code somewhere like if we search, 
Uh, we're probably going to find a bunch. CX data. So to give you uh, an idea like the SP package, so it's uh, so imagine like you have an object represented in 2D, so they have coordinate, coordinate associated, let's say like X and Y, and then on X, X and Y, you want to represent information. Let's say like you are like, you have like air quality. So you have like a point of air quality, which is in that long. And then you have like a, a captor that gets you like, I don't know, particle, some, some particle stuff. In the SP package, the data is where you're going to store, the slot data is where you're going to store the, um, the, this kind of information. So I went a bit. So here, this is an example, like, how, how we can find it. Um, but if we go R special that I, I like point because uh, this is a simple object for people to understand. Uh, but da, 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 da. Uh, set class, set points. So this is the special points. Where do we have methods for special points? Class, 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 special methods. I don't know where they are. Special polygons. Uh, anyway, so basically, like you can have either specify the coordinates or specify the coordinates are like the x and y, and um, the data is the raw data. So here, C is using the at to access it inside of the package. And here, it's fine, uh, according to Adlet. But for users, you shouldn't let do that. You shouldn't let do them that. You should let them uh, uh, create function that to access the previous slot into your class. This is what Adlet is recommending. And uh, so that's why, like here. On this, we set up a setting function. <laughs> Search meme language Aaron GitHub. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Why I'm on screen, Derek? Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, but I so yeah, you you basically creating a setting function where you are setting edge uh, by that. I try to search setting function uh, inside of a package. And it's very hard to search for uh, inside of an R package for this. So I will not recommend it. <laughs> so I didn't find setting function into like this. Can you put it in quotes? Would the quotes help? Yes, let's see. And uh, so let's try quotes and set data, for example, because we know it's an object. I have issue, which is funny. <laughs> I don't want to look at that. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe backstep, uh, Steffi, you are the king of the search on GitHub. <laughs> I mean, I would say try without quotes. You know, it's like when you don't know, you try quote, twerk, don't try twerk, simple quote, backstick. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's let's write backstick. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's see with cards. So maybe the maybe also the package does not provide like setting function for the object here. Uh, and I I do not think uh, because I used that when I was uh, and I do not think I think I I I accessed the object with at. So I'm not sure like the author of this package uh, at set. Um, some yeah, setting I was gonna say the only other thing that search for would be just the the arrow dash quote. But I think it, you know, it, and that would just be everything. Oh, yeah, and then but, like you but know, no, but with a quote like, that would catch every method setting or every generic or method or whatever you're using. Yeah. So, yes, and in our package, you have a lot of assignment function. No, no, no. Sorry, I meant um, <laughs> sorry. I meant the assignment followed by a single quote. Oh, so this is s and this. Oh, sorry, and single quote like that. Uh, no, sorry. One single double quote. Sorry, apologies. <laughs> no worries. There you uh, go. Yeah. Oh, so they are exporting some method to do that, in the, I mean, at least in the namespace, and they are defined it. Oh, they're the, the standard coordinates. Yeah. yeah. So they set them as. So in yeah. special methods, uh, this is uh, well here. 
So we have setting methods defined it. So coordinates probably get you the coordinates and this setting generic methods probably target you the coordinates you want to set. I don't know if it's like, okay, let's go back to the book. We have reviewed that. Here it's funny because like, as we see here, all the generic, the set generic are set up in the same file. I was like for the special methods. And uh, I don't know if it's the correct way of doing it. I don't know if it's like, if you should like, have, do 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 I want to have like one special? So there's special method. If I go for example, uh, special point method, they also are defined here. So here the organization is like, you def you define the class and the naming convention seems to be class underscore the class. And then when you want to define inside of the package the, um, the method, you associate the, and here you first define the generic, then you define the method inside of a single file. I don't know if that's a um, help. So for special methods, so special is defined in class partial and special method is defined in special uh, methods. I don't know if other package uses a convention. Uh, and I, I do not get, uh, and this is a test, I guess, to check first uh, if it's a generic. To I, I don't get what the test does. Because like if is is not generic, then it's set the then it's uh, setting it. I don't I I don't I, I I don't know what use case this is targeting. Is that if in case the object is used for some other purpose already in the works in the global in the package? That's very dangerous, no? Because not in the it's... package in the global environment potentially. Oh, I don't but... know. Yeah, it's code that that's using package, so it should, it should, I don't know. Anyway, so wait, because this code isn't part of the spatial function, right? Like it's just floating on yeah, its own. It, yeah, like first you define like you define your object. I mean, no, you are not defining it, but you are calling it here. You define an object special, uh, and then you are passing like all the set generic of it. And that just just gets run when you kind of attach the package, or you know, I, 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 maybe not attach the package, but whenever you load the package. Yes. Yeah, I agree with with Jeff. It sounds a little bit more like it's a, it, it's to account for there being duplicates in the environment, and that just seems really awful. Yeah. Anyway, there are, and then you don't set it. I, I don't want to see what they have seen. Uh, <laughs> 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 Why well, it's yeah. Anyway. It's yeah, I found it, it like you know, because here yeah, Adlet does not mention that. It's just like, hey, you want you want first you want the ads to do something, like displaying the edge of the person you are in your class. You do that, then you define your generic, then you display the generic two methods. Uh and that's it. That works. Uh okay. So that's good so far. Uh inheritance, I think I have show you an example of it into like the SP package. Here the example is kind of like, hey, I have an I, I'm gonna define a new class which is employee. And uh that's depend of the person. That sounds logical. And for the SP package is 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 the same idea. I have a I have like uh, my special let's say line. I'm gonna oh I click on I should click on this one special special class line. Oh, set class line. Oh, because you have line without an S, just one. <laughs> then we have line with an S, that's mean multiple line. And then you have special line, which I inherit. I don't know about what. That's interesting. I didn't know dive that. And that's also interesting on the way you dispatch objects. Because I assume like you could have objects that are lines, that's also inherit from line and also inherit from special uh, from spatial. I would be curious to see like how that's uh, does that works. Anyway, what's interesting is lines and line does not inherit from spatial. It's just special line. So I don't know. I need to understand that. And by the way, I like commented codes a lot. <laughs> uh, what does it does? 
a line should have at least two points. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> you know, when you get this error message, you feel so stupid. Um, anyway. Um, okay. So instantiation, that's uh, important. I don't remember what was the R6 object to instantiate. Do you remember? Uh, we can check. But here, it's uh, by default, uh, the new is defined by the S4 classes, exactly like the same that the um, R6 stuff defined it. I mean, not exactly because it's not the same name, I think. How does it, we can check quickly. Uh, please, how does this define the method? Oh, it's new also. So it's consistent. See, people say, oh, it's not consistent. It's not true. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's not always consistent. Okay, validation. We already, I think, talk a bit about it. Um, and yeah, I'd let like show like, oh, you can like, this is very like, uh, that seems well, but I, I will definitely see the case where people said they are in the trend, they are 30 and they are 37. So why should I produce, pro, provide my edge at just a single point information? Some people maybe uh, want to provide more, uh, but the programmer does not like that. Uh, at creation, we have seen that, at modification. Uh, I do not go too much today in to the fact that you can uh, modify on the fly the class, because I did not understand and test it enough, uh, but it's it's mentioned. Uh, I should also go quickly on the basic on the exercise because I'm I'm going fast on it, but I highly recommend you to do that. <laughs> Uh, and if you do not, I have like synthesize it here. Uh, for example, here I'm gonna load. I'm gonna I'm gonna do what you should always do. Uh, <laughs> start error in your clean. And by the way, I'm in a project which is like my messy project. It's daily 2024. I uh, this is a hack. So if you do not want to work on project for small stuff, create a project daily. And uh, if I load SP. And then if I if I uh, do that, I get the class object into R. And uh, if over is one method in the special, that's very important method in special data. You want to know what is over something. So if you go into method over, though, so the syntax is very important. So you need to tap the method, then the and. Obviously, if you do not know about it, you will never probably guess like you need to type method, interrogation points, and the name of the method to get information about that. And you learn all of that by doing, um, should probably work also, this documentation. Wait, is that is that only true for S4 objects that you can yeah. do that something question something? No. You, you read, I was just thinking how annoying it is that it doesn't work on S3. Yes, it does not work on S3, but it can work with package also. If I do, um, let's say. Um, it's like package question mark. Yeah. SP. Uh, do, do I have example here? I'm going to copy paste this one and try it. Here you have. And here it it's gave me information of all the package, by the way. I mean, that often works even without the package part. If you yeah. just usually most packages will work if you do question mark package name. So like what I want to get like and I why I spend some time about it. I think it was worth read all the mess. You know I I had a, I had a, like a, a master uh, some of my uh, people like were teaching me here said like a lot of time you understand the R help when you understand your problem. Uh, <laughs> that's good kind of backwards. But still, no, I guess I understand that more. And I and see, so you can also call package topic. Um, basically, it follows this syntax, topic type. But it's not clear what is a topic and what is a type to answer your question, uh, Joe. And okay. here, like, the method is a type and the topic is the, I mean, the overall method, sorry, is a type 
And the specific methods, the object method, like where you said generic, is here in this example over, which is called a topics. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So not that easy, I will say. But uh, it's worth read it because, like, I think the number of time I just randomly type that, and like the amount of time I do that, it was. So thanks Adle for like pointing me uh, to that in the exercise. I think it's it's. Can you can you run line forty two the question mark line? Because I get two things. I get something in utils and something in package load. I do not have package load, so you should re restart. Uh, you know you should do exactly like I have down. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what the package load package library? Do I have that? I don't, it's package load, P K G L O A D. Like that? Yeah. All right. Obviously, how many typo can we type? I don't even know. Okay. And now let me try that. Yeah. Yes. I'm the send and you. So because I'm loading this package load, I have. Uh, I don't know what that package does. It's a apparently it has a drop drop in replacement for help and uh, in functions. So when you are loading package load, uh, I guess what it's doing is probably package load. I don't know if I will be able. Does that works? Is it that one? Probably I need to backstick it. No. Yeah. Package load. Uh, let's say let's try a package load special. Oh, I need to. Um, I need to load SP first. So package load very fast. Uh, I didn't type it. So package load uh, here. And this is probably a function that I need to back. No, no, don't you want to do? And I'm let's say special. I want to specify it and see if I have a difference. But don't you want to go package load question mark and then back to question mark or something? I don't know. Uh, I want to specify the back the question mark I want to use. So here in special, I work. I don't know here. Did I code special load from package load? Or oh, did I oh, 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 I see. I see how you were calling from, it. Uh, right, 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 right. I understand now. I understand. Now. I, I need to check the trace back to have like the yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I understand that. Anyway, so I I guess package load introduced like another question mark question and help. Let's work differently. And how does uh. So let's go back here. Uh, here now, if I pick the package load, where is package load? Here. It's, I don't know what, do I have an example on, if I retry like methods over, for example, what the, what that will you give me? But is it like, does, does like, what's the improvement versus the, Right, uh, right. I don't, I don't know. know. Anyway, <laughs> that's what's bring us too much. Uh too much. Sorry. Uh, no worries. Uh that's good. Like that's always a good feedback when someone has other stuff than you. Uh that's mean like something's different, no? Okay. Yeah. So we have seen all of that. Uh we have seen uh all of that. I do not and the validator will already discuss that, I think. Uh, stop me like what's funny also like is um if you check in the s uh here let me go uh in one of them i don't remember um the special methods so you have a bunch of generics so you have set method and also you have another one that adlet does not introduce which is set replace methods So I'm, ass I'm assuming you can go deeper uh, into like, so there's probably exist method that came from other package or other stuff that you want to replace it. And I, I have not gone too deep in too much. Uh, you can also, um, I, have, I have seen others, but like, yeah. So there is other kind of set function that I think came from the method package that allow you to do other stuff if you are into it. And I think like the chapters, the game, the goal of the chapter is just to introduce us. But that I just wanted to say like, yeah, you have more complexity if needed. 
but for me already like it's it's a bunch i will say okay i don't go too much into it generic i think we have seen a lot about it signature is interesting and this is one of the adler recommendation when you said generic you should use a signatures that's basically it like uh you are not um because like yes you can have a bunch of arguments into your function but you just want to target the first one and if you go into the sp they use that a lot also uh, because you are passing well no it's kind of github so if you search for signatures see in set methods uh mm -hmm. yeah you are just like elite is probably complicated merge is interesting i guess how you merge special data uh here you are just having the x that came up in my mind from the special uh um, i don't know what why any means i should uh, check into it but you can specify that and then you use it a lot this one make more sense like you are either using the special or the data frame uh, object this has impact when you dispatch so this is a way like to organize the dispatching that's the complicated stuff with emoji letters in the chapters that i not fully understood um but i guess this is where it's useful so it's important to control that and to avoid also weird stuff because like verbose equal true is not something like really important. Like it should not be affected. I mean, it's, it's important. You want to have it, but you don't want to be dispatched on that. To have like this of an impact. Okay, show methods. Uh, we have seen that. Accessor, I think uh, I bring that. We discussed that with the setting method and, and getting methods. Okay, um, five minutes to go on that. I don't know what you took around that. Um, I mean, uh, what's your take on all of that? Oh, I, I had those notes like of interesting stuff that I, I, I found into like the package, but uh, I don't think it's worth it. I mean, there are plenty of interesting stuff reading other people code, but like, um, what I took uh, from that is I should focus myself on single dispatch. <laughs> that was my whole take about it. Um, I get it's powerful, uh, but uh, I did not fully understand how it's managed except with the signatures. And the example with emojis is fun. But I do not see real implementation. So I'm like, uh, yes, my take is like it's, and I don't know what's, what's at least goal with that. Uh, I guess in my computer science journey, I should re come back to that when I have an object that need a multiple inheritance that's lead to multiple dispatch. I guess why you want multiple inheritance. But why do you want some inheritance at the same time, or why do you want do not want some inheritance that nested in another one? Uh, so that's I, I I do not get it. I don't know what's your take on that, but uh, I, I I to me it's um, too advanced for me. I do not have a good example to wrap my mind around it. But that's I'm happy like to come back to it later. Um. That was interesting because you can use uh, so S4 and S3 uh, are related, and you can use um, and set all classes used. By the way, in the I can give you an example. You can use S3 attribute classes inside of your contain into your set class, and I have an example inside of SP. I think here you can use the class PPP, which came from like the point pattern uh, object. If you are like doing simulation with point pattern, this is a package that you, that was uh, the, the name of the package is PatStat, and it's deal with point pattern simulation and analysis. And uh, this is an example like uh, how it's using it here. 
and say, how do you interact with uh, other class from another package and how do you use that? So I found it interesting. I have four minutes. So cool. I like it. I'll see this method early. And is explain uh, is explain uh, is here. So you, as we seen, this is also used by the SP package. Uh, SP package. And that was it. Uh, my take, and also like I asked on internet, random strangers, how do they implement S four, and where it was implemented? A lot of answer I get was wrapping around C plus plus API or JavaScript API. Uh, example is the Terra package, which is another uh, package from special data that deal with rasters that use pointers to deal with raster data. And so the, the, apparently they are using it. I, I, I know the package, but I have not looked into it uh, to uh, handle like this pointer stuff uh, in a cleaner way. Obviously the bioconductor one, and what this is, my guess also a lot of that is like a lot of time our programmers are working in small team where they do not need a very hard structures. But S4 definitely seems to be like a way more um, from the top structures than the R6 or even the S3. So if you are dealing with a big project like bioconductors, maybe, or you plan to be dealing with a big project, maybe it makes sense to uh, implement that. That's my take for now. Uh, and that's it for me. Uh, yes, so you have the Lubri Lubricate example, which is like fairly similar also, and uh, the validation. All of that is inside of the package, so look for it. But yeah, I, I want to read percent recommend checking a package as the same time I read the book, even if the book sadly did not introduce package. Very cool. Question, remark? So one, I have a question, because it, it talked about Lubridate having this example of an S4 uh, class. So in packages like Lubridate, is, is it a mixture of S3 and S4, you think? Like, do you do you pick one of these and like your whole package is built around either S3 or S4, or do you pick one, pick them kind of as they go, whatever fits an individual kind of I think S4 is well designed to integrate with S3, as my understanding. So you can reuse S3 stuff while using S4. And I think this is one of the pros of it. And because Liberidate is using POSIX LT, POSIX CT, et cetera, et cetera, which under the hood are S3 classes. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, is it, yes, is S3 yeah. classes. This is their little name, the attribute classes. Uh, and then they use on top of it an S4 uh, oriented system on top of it. This is my understanding. Do you want do do you think it's worth us to spend time on the package? Do you want me to go on it? No, I, I don't think so. I was just wondering mm -hmm. in general. Yeah. yeah. But that's my uh that's my answer. Like I think they go well. Apparently they go well together. And um I have no experience on it. So I can just like uh and um uh, yeah why not? And I think like for, for Luber Day it would just make sense. Bye everybody. Okay. Bye bye. Um, because okay. you can't like it's it's using dates and times, right? So it wouldn't really make sense to create a whole S four class for a date time when there's a really good one already used. So it might be different. It might have been like a, I have no.